My name is uh, Phyllis Kelly. I'm 54 years old. Actually, the pain started when I started volunteering <clears throat> at Lutheran General Hospital. I had a back problem. Then I had to, to push a fairly heavy woman and um, it tore my back apart. He sent me for an MRI and he says you have um, multiple pinched nerves in your spine. Every month you go back, you see the pain doctor and he, he gives you more, you know, opiates. And I took eight a day. I was still in pain. My psychiatrist saw the shape I was in. She told me straight out, Phyllis, you need to get off of these or you're gonna die. You know, at one point in my life, I, I would have said, let me die. <laughs> at this point in my life, I want to live, you know? So I'm like, let's, let's, let's get off of these, please. What do we do? My name is Tom. I've been friends with Phyllis since 2011. What I originally noticed about Phyllis was she was very interested in helping people. At the time, I didn't know some of the struggles she was going through. But in the last three years, I've noticed a big change in her since then, toward the positive. Phyllis's journey and, and the positive outcome from it made me feel very happy as a friend. She did, she did use a cane, and uh, she did stop using that cane. And I asked her about it, because I, I just one day noticed it. And uh, she just told me, yeah, I'm off the cane, and I have my doctor's approval to be off the cane. And, she went on from there, and I hope she continues her journey in a positive way. And uh, as far as for other people out there who are uh, interested in pursuing medical uh, marijuana, um, it, it's something that, that they can do legally. It, it might just be for them. It has been you know, three long years, but you know there were five before that, so I, I can notice you know a difference in her, so positive difference. Since I've had my medical cannabis card, uh, I've been able to get off opiates. My pain has lessened probably about 95% with cannabis. I'm in much more or less pain um, than I ever was with opiates. So I use uh, some topicals, they relieve uh, the inflammation and the pain. The topicals work pretty quickly. They're pretty effective. And when you use the topicals with THC and CBD in it, it takes the pain and inflammation down. I love to walk. Uh, my grandpa used to take us uh, walking when we were little kids, and I, I think that's where I got it from. I just love being outside now. I like to walk down to the park down the block and just sit on, on one of the benches and you know just sit in the fresh air listen to my iPod or whatever. I'm sleeping better for the first time in like years. Uh, I'm sleeping through the night uh, not all the time but at least half the time, which is something that is very rare for me. Try medical cannabis, it'll change your life. It did mine. I actually got um, sick on a minor surgery. I was having a a bursitis on my toe. So I went into the hospital and they were gonna shave it off. And um, I came home and about two weeks later, I was getting worse. My foot was getting worse and it was changing colors. So I went to the doctor as a follow-up and um, he started looking at my foot and he's like, we got a problem. So he walks out of the room and he comes back in with a brochure and his nurse. And before I could even say a word, I'm standing up and they're hugging me. And I'm like, why are you hugging me? 
And they're like, well, you have CRPS. And I'm like, what's CRPS? And they said, it's chronic regional pain syndrome. It's chronic pain, it's like a nerve condition and it's gonna go through like my entire body. It's affecting my blood cells, my uh, bones, my um, nerves and my muscles. It just started getting progressively worse. I believe the first year had over 215 doctor appointments. I was working full time. I was seeing two to three doctors basically every day five or six doctors a week. And it was, the pain was just, just horrible. Just horrible. It affected my life because I couldn't do anything. I was um, basically crying, immobile, staying at home. Um, didn't really have a social life because there's just no time. You just, you go to see a doctor, you come home, you're in pain. So I was working um, at a, an insurance company for 32 years. And the first year that I was diagnosed, I was seeing so many doctors after work and sometimes during work, I tried doing it all. I became so exhausted from doctors. Couldn't understand what I was doing at work anymore. I was getting dizzy at work. I wasn't focusing. I was reading things three, four, five times over and over again. And then every hour I had to go lay down. So after about a year of working, it was out of control. Too much pain, too much pressure, and exhausted. So I actually um, stopped working. I went on short-term disability, which led to long-term disability. I felt extremely guilty because I've worked for 32 years. That's all I know. And not to work was really hard. The biggest problem I'm having with the doctors is they don't coordinate with each other. The doctor overdosed me, kept telling me to take one, if that don't work, take two, take three. I was up to three a day. I'd gained 30 pounds. I went to my primary care and he said that I am being way, way overdosed. So when I told the doctor that, they were calling in a smaller dose, but she decided to go on vacation. So I actually was left with nothing. And I went into a spiral, uh, ended up in the emergency room because you can't just quit one day. It's a very slow thing that you have to quit. So I ended up being very sick in, in the emergency room. And that actually happened twice. It was years of doctors. I have bags of drugs that I didn't use. Actually, just bags of medicine in my cabinet right now. Uh, my name is Deanna. I live across the street from Teresa. And we became friends instantly. Had a lot in common as far as pain and um, things that we have tried for our pain. And I know that she has tried many, many things as, as I have. And then, oh, sometimes she doesn't want to leave the house or get out of bed. Um, many times having difficulty falling asleep at night, not sleeping for days. And, you know, just try to encourage her and, you know, be there for her as much as I can. But, you know, when you're in that much pain, you know, all you can do is try to do what you can to subside it. And that's medical marijuana. I mean, the pills, all they're going to do is get you addicted. Or you can just see her out there just, you know, walking in pain, even when she has the dogs out there. And then other times when I know that she's medicated, we can sit and chill, laugh, talk about her pain, laugh about her pain. I mean, I don't like to see anybody in pain and suffering, especially somebody that I care about. And knowing that, you know, she has tried so many other prescriptions, you know, through the years, and it's done not much. And then when I see her, when she does, you know, smoke or do whatever it is, she's just a different person. Because when you are not in pain, you're happier, obviously. I mean, who's smiling and cheesing when they're in pain? So it's just a win-win situation. When she medicates, um, she's definitely a, a different person. It's uh, a natural way of medicine. I don't have to take the medicine that's gonna give me all the side effects. Uh, cannabis does none of that. I'm done with drugs, meds, pills. I've had enough pills to last me a lifetime.